Rural urban drift continues to be a grave concern for years. This, according to the opposition leader, has resulted in the increase of petty crimes, leading to organized crimes in the country's towns and cities. Many of our people from our rural areas are moving into towns and cities, but have very little education or skills, but who are looking for a better life. The settlements are overcrowded. There is a rise in homelessness. They cannot return back to the villages or provinces, Mr. Acting Speaker. Some of those that actually migrate to towns and urban centers and cities are troublemakers, are criminals who escape arrests and community repressions in their home provinces or districts. And when you have this mixed bag of people migrating into towns and cities, social tensions and law and order problems are prone to escalate. Our Prime Minister, would you consider introducing the Vagrancy Act? And if not, then what are your plans to deal with the current rise in lawlessness that is caused by migration of our rural people into towns and cities from other provinces? In response, Prime Minister James Marape said laws of the country, including the Vagrancy Act, are already in place and police have been tasked to carry out its duties. However, policing of these laws are not always followed. Uh, on the issue of Vagrancy Act, uh, <coughs> Mr. Acting Speaker, the law is in place. Uh, police have been tasked to look into this aspect of the law. Uh, and not only the Vagrancy Act, but every other loss we have. Uh, we have lost in our country, but unfortunately, policing of these laws has fallen short. Policing of these laws have fallen short over many, many years. And, uh, you know, we blame police, uh, but we also, uh, you know, blame the society and blame all ourselves uh, and blame government. Government today and governments of past also in not consistently uh, ramping up support to the full law and justice sector. Prime Minister Marape further emphasized the need for Papua New Guineans to enter into agricultural activities. We cannot talk about development if we don't, do not grow the economic base. Government just can't be the big spender in the economy. The economy base must be broadened, bigger, diversified, and people must run with growing the economy. PM Marape said the Connect PNG program has the potential to drive the country's economy forward whilst protecting the rights and traditions of indigenous Papua New Guineans. Therefore, he encouraged everyone to tap into agriculture and SME programs and support the Connect PNG program. Lindy Suharupa, National MTV News.